Welcome to the ABB Salon Global Competence Center video tutorial on how to add KNX points to Integra IT8000 controller or Integra supervisor and expose them to BACnet network. In many projects, you may see a requirement to read and write KNX group addresses from the BACnet network either by a BACnet native device or a BACnet operating workstation. Usually, this is done by utilizing a KNX driver on a BACnet device or station. A B Cylon IT8000 controller and Integra supervisor will provide such solution for bidirectional communication between KNX IP and BACnet IP. In the following example, I will be working on a live IT8000 controller to demonstrate how to configure KNX part of this exercise. The first stage is to configure KNX network in the Integra Workbrain software. The main steps for this process are adding a KNX network driver, configuring connections to KNX IP network, adding devices to KNX network, adding points from ETS project file. In the IT8000 workbench, in order to configure KNX network, double click on drivers under your station, click new and select KNX network component. Click OK. Double click on the network open property sheet and select the appropriate Ethernet adapter for your connection. Click Save. Now as you can see the Ethernet adapter has been initiated for communication. Double click on drivers, open the network and click on check data devs. In order for the KNX IP driver to translate group addresses data from the encoded native KNX communications to the human-friendly format displayed in the properties of Integra control points and vice versa, it needs some information about the standard KNX data point. This information is collectively referred as the KNX data definitions or KNX data defs that must be loaded every time a KNX network is added. Once the KNX definition has been loaded, a discovery button is available. Click on that discovery button and then select search network devices. This will find your IP KNX magnet adapter. Double click on adapter to see additional properties and to add it to the database. The last element is to add points. Double click on points icon and hit on discover. Select the import file and select the appropriate KNX project. This will load all the points, all the group addresses from the KNX project. Select the appropriate points from the discovered database and drag them to the local database for the project. Make sure that you will enable them. You can go to the KNX point folder, select the appropriate point, cl right click actions and set to test if you have a connection and if that point is working properly. The next step is to expose KNX group addresses into BACnet network. Firstly, you have to add a BACnet IP network driver. Then configure BACnet IP network port. Create a BACnet IP export table. To do that, go to drivers, click on new, and select the BACnet network component. Double click on BACnet network and open property sheet. Go to local device and set up the object ID of the local device that will be the device that holds the export table.
Then open the Bagnet Network, Local Device, and Export Table. In the Local Object list, click on Discover to refresh the list, and select and drag the points that you wish to expose to Bagnet. In the Section Type, select the appropriate Bagnet type for this point. Once all your points have been configured for the export table, the last thing is to go to back.coms, IP port, and enable backend communication. If you wish to test or configure or check your points that have been exposed to backnet, you can start any backnet explorer and scan the network. And as you can see, there is that device and we have the backend objects. So I can control that backend object from this explorer and change its value as appropriate. Thank you very much for watching. This has been brought to you by ABB Salon Global Competence Center.